Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I'm your host, Youth Ones, Ryan Oliver. Today, I'm really excited to catch up with one of the rising talents from the 2027 class, Jackson Smith, quarterback. How are you, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, Jackson. It's actually great to catch up with you. I've been meaning to catch up with you for a while. You were named to our Elite 101 uh, since the last time uh, we interviewed, and you've just kind of really grown on the scene, one of the top quarterbacks in your class. I want you to tell me about your most recent, your most recent season and how you feel like you've progressed since the last time you and I spoke. So my most recent season, we went undefeated. We won the we won the championship. And like for my personal accolades, I reached one of my goals for throwing over a thousand passing yards. So that was a big that was a big thing for me I wanted to accomplish. And I had I was one touchdown away from 20 touchdown passes this season. So and then as far as from last year my game has just been so much better last year i wasn't the best quarterback and that that off season leading up to this most recent season i just grinded worked as hard as i could try to get my body right and trying to get like throw my throwing motion dialed in because that's really important to me is being able to throw the ball well that's a big thing for a quarterback to be able to do yeah jackson i remember watching your film for the first time uh when i had reached out to you to do the last interview we did. And I was impressed with your talent. Then I, I saw a lot of potential in you. And I felt like you were one of the better quarterbacks I've seen in your class. Obviously, like you were, you've, you're nationally ranked. Uh, you kind of garnered attention as one of the best quarterbacks in your state, uh, the state of Ohio. How does it feel to kind of have this uh, attention on your game? And does it motivate you to continue to, you know, work hard towards your goals? Oh, it feels really good. And obviously there's stuff that comes with that, you know, you can't be doing anything stupid and you just have to, you have to work hard at what you're doing. Absolutely. It's being ranked number one in Ohio for my class is probably, it was a big deal to me yeah. and obviously comes with a lot and it motivates me because there's always somebody out there who wants it just as bad, if not more as you. So that's the big thing when making sure I'm consistent, throwing, lifting, you know, every little thing that goes into being quarterback, I make sure I do and try to perfect that so I can keep my rankings how they are. You know what I mean? Absolutely. No, I, I totally, I, I can see that you have that work ethic to match the talent. And I think that that's what's going to propel you forward to keep, you know, keep going through high school and, and to take your career ultimately where you want to take it. I want you to tell me in your own words, Jackson, how you're feeling about your game right now and maybe some areas that you're working to improve. Right now, I'm feeling good about my game. I feel much better than last year. Last year, when we did this interview, I don't think I was as confident as a player. And up to now, I feel a more confident player. I feel like I can make the throws and do whatever I need. But working-wise, I've been working to understand the game mentally more. You know, going from eighth grade to high school, you're going to be see different coverages, you know, different fronts. So working on that's been a big thing mentally. And then physically, I'm trying to get bigger and stronger and faster. You know, since the off season started, I've gained 10 pounds. So I've been really working on it. And throwing wise, what I'm gonna work on is getting more hip rotation, bottom half rotation into my throw. That way it can generate more power and velocity on my ball. What are your measurements now? Like in terms of just like your height and weight? Oh, uh, I'm almost six three and huh. I'm about 162 pounds ish. So, wow, wow, six three. I feel like you were maybe like six one and a half, six two the last time we talked. So you obviously you're 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 at the age where you're gonna keep growing. So that's not a surprise to me. But it's just like some of you guys when I talk to you guys, you guys grow so much from like the <laughs> the first time I talk to you guys to the next time I talk to you. So I think it's awesome to see that you know you're continuing to grow and you're putting that work. You said you gained 10 pounds. I think that that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Jackson, your own words, what would you say your strengths are on the field? If someone's never seen you play before, uh, what would you say your strengths are? I think my biggest strength, obviously leadership, that's a big thing you have to have as a quarterback. But like in the game, I, I think my biggest thing is I can use my legs to extend plays yeah. or get the first down, you know, because that's important as a quarterback, especially right. with this generation. Being able to use your legs to get an extra seconds on play, move out of the pocket, get a first down is important. And I think my arm strength is one of my biggest things where I can throw the ball and my accuracy. 
And I think that's what really helped me this season was being able to air the ball out and put it in those windows. Yeah, I, I felt like your arm strength and your accuracy were were things that stood out to me when I when I first came across your film and, and kind of got to know you as an athlete and, and that type of thing. I thought that that was, you know, obviously a part of your foundation, but I think, you know, the leadership and the other things that you mentioned as well, um, ability to extend the play um, are definitely in your skill set. So I, I would agree with you in terms of what you said your strengths are. Um, I want to know about, uh, you know, where you're going to school next year and what your goals are for yourself next season. I plan on staying at Arcanum. You know, okay. I live 10 minutes away from the school and they feel like it's a family place. You know, like my best friends go here and the coaching staff has welcomed me in. You know, my junior high offense coordinator has moved up. I think he was a big part of my success this season. So having him come up with me to help me, that's a big deal. And my, I think my goals, my like overall high school goals, I want to throw for 15,000 yards. Okay. And I think what my freshman season goals, obviously I want to start. So that's the first thing. And I want to take our school. We've made the playoffs before, but I want to take us deep, like deeper into the playoffs than what we've been. Right. And obviously being a leader, that's a big thing. You know, growing that relationship with my friends and my teammates and my coaches is my biggest thing I'm going to do this season. Yeah, Jackson, you mentioned leadership a couple of times, so I'll kind of, uh, you know, piggyback off of that. Tell me a little bit about how maybe you feel like you've grown as a leader over the past couple of years and how, you know, you look to grow going forward. I think I've grown as a leader, but I mean, obviously with what I have, like being ranked nationally, I think that comes with it. And being like a vocal leader is my biggest thing. Yeah, I'm pretty vocal with my guys. If somebody's got their head down, I'm going to bring their head up, tell them they're OK, got to move on. And I think um, a role model leader, you know, I have a good, I have a good GPA. I have like 3.9. So almost 4.0. I'm trying to get that. And I think some guys look up to me and want to be like me and you know, just hold themselves to a standard that I hold myself to. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, for sure. What, what is a, what is a day in the life of Jackson Smith right now in terms of your football uh, work and like training and things like that? What, what does your day look like? Uh, right now I get up around 5.30 to go throw in the morning and then go to school. And then after school, we have lifting and then I'll come home and do some mobility work or watch film or get to study our offense, you know, going because we have a new offense this year to learn. So I'm trying to study that. And then like on Saturdays, Braxton Miller has this charging, like it's like a camp almost. Mm -hmm go there and you can work with some of the best guys in Ohio so I'm going to that and me and Braxton he's my quarterback coach now so we plan to start throwing once or twice a week and getting the mental part of the game down awesome I think it's good to hear kind of like the work that you guys put in behind the scenes I think sometimes people don't realize either, even for like you know youth athletes high school athletes etc you guys are dedicated to well not all of you guys but a lot of you guys including you are really dedicated to your craft and it's not easy just to roll the ball out and play it's like you're you're doing a lot of of work behind the scenes to kind of reach your goals and have the type of season that you're talking about um are there any other long-term goals that you'd like to share with me that you have for yourself maybe not just high school related could be college or you know professionally or whatever do you have any goals for yourself that you kind of are aspiring towards High school, I want to win two state championships. That's one of my goals. I want to be able to do that. And after high school, I obviously want to sign to a college that feels like home, you know, a, a program that welcomes me and wants me to succeed there. And after college, I mean, playing in the NFL would be a big deal. I mean, that's a goal I think everyone sets for. But yeah. if not that, I'd like to be a quarterback trainer after college if I don't play in the NFL. Yeah, well, I think that your skill set will take you, you know, far. I think that the your lofty goals are definitely attainable. And I think you just got to keep working ha like you have been and the success has come organically. You haven't, you know, uh, done anything out of like your norm in terms of like what you're dedicated to, the way you work, the way you are, your leadership, and the things have kind of come naturally. So my advice to you, Jackson, would just to be keep being you, keep working hard and keep, you know, stay dedicated to school and football and, um, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, is there anything else that people should know about Jackson Smith right now um, that you'd like them to know? Oh, I've been on three unofficial visits to Notre Dame, NC State, and Ohio State. 
I think that's a big thing that people should know about me. Uh, do you want to tell me how those visits were? Like, what was it? What was the, what were those experiences like for you? Um, Notre Dame was my favorite one for sure. Okay. That place is, it feel, it honestly felt like home, you know, Yeah. from being able to watch the band march, the players come in the stadium, hearing the crowd. And then, I mean, the facilities there are amazing. So, yeah, I've yeah. been, I built a connection with Coach Reese. I've been talking to him. And I got his phone number, and I have Chad Bowen's phone number from Notre Dame, the recruiter. So, I mean, I have a lot of connections there. And NC State, it was nice. It was warm, so I was <laughs> better and cold. So I like that. And then Ohio State, it was the Ohio State-Michigan game, and that was crazy. Oh, wow. I mean, that crowd was – it was a, the stadium <laughs> was full, and the crowd was wild. So Right, right. Yeah, I mean, they were good. That's awesome. Well, I'm happy for you. Those experiences are, you know, invaluable, obviously. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit going forward for you, Jackson. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to join me on Monday Morning Quarterback. And, hey, man, I look forward to our next interview, whether it's in six months or a year, where you get to update me on how this uh, your or your next season goes. And I'm sure you'll be telling me about your next, you know, goals you set for yourself as, as, as you conquer the ones that are in front of you now. Uh, this is 2027 quarterback Jackson Smith. Jackson, thanks for joining me, man. Thanks for having me.